सो दिस इज वेरी फेमस श्लोक है टुडे टॉक इज अबाउट ग्रैंड स्टैच एंड द होल सेंट्रल पॉइंट इज व्हाट डज अ पर्सन फील यू वांट टू नो एनीबॉडी जस्ट वॉच व्हाट ही हीज इज इट नॉट कंपनी मेक्स अ मैन but what does he do in the company he hears sometimes you know parents are very worried but children should not get into the wrong company but the worst damage or a good a company can do is by giving him some subject matter for he which is good or bad so most important thing in our day 24 hours uh, is that what am i hearing and the fortune is uh, if you hear about krishna just like arjuna when he heard about krishna proper says everything became spiritualized he became spiritualized his mission became spiritualized everything became spiritualized the whole existence uh, changed grihastha grihame we have to make the distinction and understand where we are situated correct everybody has to see not about others himself where he is situated correct and we are all situated in different ashramas and then if somebody is situated as a grihastha Uh, Shukade Goswami is generally warning because Parish Maharaj is a grihastha. He had a family, but he was always inquiring. You know, that's why his name is Parish. He was so keen to see Krishna, and then at the end of his life, he asked this question: you know, Should I hear about Krishna? What should I do at this point? I have only seven days' time remaining. So at that point. Shukadev Goswami was so happy to see his eagerness to hear about Krishna. Immediately, first he encourages the student. Huh? Huh? He says, "Variya eshate prashna ha, kritaloka itam nepaha, apashtam atmadatvam vihesh vihme dega." He says, "You have asked such a your question. Very question is so glorious." that everybody is going to benefit uh because of this so now shukadev goswami is uh is going to tell why this is so much why is it that such a question should be asked or only such a question should be asked in the society other questions are secondary in the somebody was telling me if there was some few hundred years ago in bangalore suppose Even in Bangalore, as some sage has come, whole city used to go to hear. That's how Madhva Chaya, Shankara Chaya preached. If they reach a town, whole town goes to hear them. Today, why the society has been destroyed today? Because of the TV. What wrong the TV is doing? They are hearing, 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 hearing. Show the Vyadini, Rajendra, Nidam, something. सहस्रशा Because this is Bhagavad Gita. Eating is Pancharatra Guru. Sometimes devotees go for preaching. They have to eat bhoga. Nothing can be done. They are traveling somewhere. Okay. 
that's okay. But that is doing damage, but much more damage will happen. You know, there was a parents of some student, they had come to meet him. And their mother was so much keen that the son should not eat even onion garlic. They are, you know, chanting him up. I, I told them, see, that is fine, but you should see what he hears, not what he eats. That is secondary. And that is secondary. So, uh, yeah, that is not even among the four regulated principles. No intoxication, no gambling, no illicit sex, no meat eating. Where is food? Only warning is that don't touch meat, correct? You still are not thrown away from proper disciples if you are not eating prasada. But these things are primary. And these things person cannot follow if hearing is not there. Hearing is primary. While Prabhupada said, among all my instruction, Prabhupada said, the chanting Hare Krishna is most important. Why does it say so? Because if this place you work, the rest automatically will go. There are nine. All of us actually at the end of the day should sit down and should see how much time I heard the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Okay? And work what is the quality, you know, A, B, C, D, E. Ourselves we can make a judgment. And then after that, you know, sometimes we can record our own japa and just watch after that. Are the words we pronounce properly, attentively? Proper it's a very simple process, but you should do it nicely. And then how much time I spend time hearing Srila Prabhupada? I should see every day. And how much time I spend hearing Gramyagata? And then every day we should do manage our time so that more time is invested in as as householders or as anybody in this world, something we have to know about everything. Otherwise, we cannot live in this world, correct? At the same time, everything we should know about something, that is Krishna consciousness. So, Prabhupada is to say, I'm not saying I'm the best example, but Prabhupada is to say, save time from all angles to invest time in here. And that will change this. And this is what we should do for our own self. But Shukadeva Goswami is saying, and he is going to tell so many things, uh, Tasmat, what is the shloka? Tasmat, he is going to conclude after saying two, three shlokas, he says this, Tasmat Bharata Sarvatma Bhagavan Ishro Hari Shotavya Ketita Vyascha Smartavya Chaichita Abhayam. So he says, yes, therefore, what you are asked is the most wonderful thing. But why? Now he is explaining to you. He is saying, we have so many subject matter of hearing. Another thing is why we want to hear about so many other subject matter is that we have forgotten our real problem. My real problem is birth, death, old age and disease. Correct? In the next look I will say that we somehow feel ourselves protected. Deha Bhatta Kalatra Rechu Aadhu Sainrishu Asatsu Api We feel we are surrounded by some soldiers which will protect me. Asat Asat Sainyu Asat Sainyu means they are very nice with you just like so many apartments they have some security but the moment there is a problem they are the first people to run away they don't protect you actually suppose the terrorists come they don't give their life they will run away whole year they are taking silent but the moment the real problem comes then so, actually our business should be, because we have, you know, uh, uh, we have a very big problem and we are feeling intoxicated by varieties of sense gratification and the sense gratification has uh, bewildered us. Just like when some people have a lot of problems, what do they do? They drink. So they can forget the problem. Actually my real problem is, Death is coming. And everything I have will be left here on it. Whatever I achieved, so called achievement will be finished. And then I have a problem of old age. All of us are now entering, many of us are entering, not all of us. We can see the symptoms. And then we know Prabhupada says, you know, somebody had this deal. He told God, 
Please tell me when I am going to die. Some wish. God said, okay, I'll tell you. And then one day he was about to die. So he complained to God that you didn't tell me. I'm about to die. Or he died after that. Whatever. So God said, I have so many notices I sent you. Old age is a notice of death. Just like a landlord gave you a notice. You have to vacate this premise on this day. Correct? So we have just three months time. A notice is given. Now you have to vacate. So similarly, we are also served a notice as we are getting old and we see the body is now slowly functioning down. Uh, we, we should be aware. The notice is there already and we should prepare to leave. This body we have to leave. Prabhupada said, we are tenants in this body. We are not the owner of this body. At any moment we have to leave this body. That famous example, the deer in the forest, he is enjoying the company of his wife, children, everything. And he's feeling nice. Life is so nice. But a hunter and tiger are waiting. Any moment they'll kill him. In the same way, we may be surrounded by a band of relatives and by some other things. We may consider ourselves secure in this world. But sir, somebody is like a hunter, a death personified, is waiting to hit us. Anyway. That can happen at any moment. Right? And we see those who are in the hospital, they see so many deaths are like Otherwise, people are not even aware of this glamour world. Death is hidden. Just generally, that is the mistake happens to the youngsters. The young is there, youth is there, body is full of energy. They lose their sobriety. They lose their gravity. They forget. Ch Chanakya Pandit said, always remember this fact. You are here in this world. For a temporary time. People become crazy actually. They forget this fact. I am here for a few more days. Nobody will remember my name also. And we did a test now. We have somebody, grandfather, he did not. <laughs> Even I don't know. I never saw my grandfather. Yeah. In fact, that's what happened. We had gone to Jagannath Puri. You know, they tried to test you as a Hindu or you are outside. They asked me, and it's gone people that doubt. Because we can be from any country. Yeah. So they asked, so that's how it is. Two, 50, 60 years later, people will not even remember our name. But so much we are busy about our so-called problems. Actually, we have created problems. These are not our real problems. And then, when you are starting working on the real problem, which is actually causing a difference, uh, disturbance at the root. Uh, because Bhagavatam's purpose is to solve the problem from the root. So there is a difference between our approach and other people's approach. And so-called psychologists or psychiatrists in this world, or other people who are now giving a vision to the society how to be happy. They do not solve the problem from the root. They do not even tell you that is your main problem. Which person tell me, reading and writing so many novels about so many rubbish, tell you the real problem is what Prahlad Maharaj identifies in Bhagavad Gita. What is the problem? Asurya Varya Dehina Sadha Samudhrigna Diyam Ashadkraha Tata Sadhumanye Asurya Varya Dehina Sada Samudvigna Dhyā Asat Kraha We are trying to make a settlement in a temporary place. This is your real problem. And deep in the heart, all of us are because of that fearful. All of us. And what Krishna consciousness does is, does is from the root, throws out, just like a weed is there. And one thing is you are doing some kind of trimming the weed, but it will keep growing. No? You have to pull it from the root and throw it away. Uh, therefore, the first canto, second shloka. What is the second shloka? First canto. Cheating religion. Dharma proja the kaita vatra paramo nirma saranam satam veda vasa matra shimadam tapatrayo unu mula. Mula means a root. Tapa. Tapa means all my. You know, heat, all the traya, three kind of problems we have in material existence. 
Adhyatmika, Devodika, Devika. From the root, it is pulled out from the Therefore, this is what many people, when they used to meet Prabhupada, you know, this is around the world. They are completely strangers. They don't know anything. First thing they will tell about Prabhupada, he looks so peaceful. Why? Because from the root, he has thrown out his problem. And because, because we don't work on this real problem, therefore, even though artificially, for some time, you know, because intoxicated man also, you have seen for some time, he is, he is a very interesting thing I have read in Bhagavatam matters. That you can know what kind of man he is after he intoxicates. How? If he is a sattvic person, I know, and if he does intoxication, he just lies down, he sits down. If, a, if he is a rasic person, he starts singing after he is drunk. And if he is a tamasic person, he starts speaking foul language. See what happens? Now it's a, I am not saying we should do this test to it. <laughs> I am understand, understanding the reason. Why it is? Because intoxication, you know, we are actually, what we are inside, nobody knows. External, we have another show word. All of us are like that. But intoxication, what it does, and what happens, we have a barrier. Our crazy, our demonic self we hide, and external world we show a good self out. When intoxication happens, what happens? Our barriers are removed away. So what we are just comes out. A tamasic man actually is abusive of everybody. Therefore, when the barriers are removed, I heard, uh, and that was in uh, Manipal and uh, students were telling me, Sir, you are teaching them, just go and see what they are doing. I said, what? They had a freshers party, sir, one month after the college opens. One month, just that's all. All of them are heavily drunk. We cannot even hear the kind of language they are speaking of. Very abusive language they are speaking against everybody. So that is the nature of a tamasic person. Some people who are not so bad when they are drunk, rasic, rasic means all those silly songs, you know. But you know, in normal day, actually nobody will do that. Anything happens, you see in the film they start dancing and singing. That only a man will do when he's drunk, a rasic man. Otherwise nobody does that, correct? You now when something has happened, we don't start singing. <laughs> we sing Krishna Bhajan, that is separate. But that is not what singing they do. They do rasic singing, all film songs, rasic. That is, uh, and a uh, sattvic person feels a little embarrassed. When he has, you know, because he likes to, actually inside is clean. He just doesn't want to show. He's still in control of his behavior, but mind is to, He just lies down. Now, I'm not saying do this test, but very interesting. So now, uh, because we are intoxicated, why I brought this? We are actually, for some moment, we look a little happy. And people to create this kind of so-called happiness today, the youth mass, go for parties. And a must thing in a party is drinking. Must. Because after drinking, their so-called one hour, two hour of enjoyment is there. And after that, you see, next day they write to, it was such a nice time, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Without solving your real problem, you are keeping your real problem as it is, and you are having some kind of so-called enjoyment. This is, this is foolishness. This is for a man who has no willpower. This is for a man who is weak-minded. Weak-minded. He doesn't have the willpower to go towards solving his real problem. And from the root towards the real problem. Then he is actually peaceful for now. So there is a difference between the approach of Bhagavatam and the modern day world in making people happy. Bhagavatam approaches from the uh, root solve our problem. And the modern day world, that is not at all. Rather the problems become more and more. And then, as the people grow up, uh, the problems only multiply. Then they have something called antidepressants, you know, which are another form of just suppressing actually my real problem. You know, just like previously, suppose some bad thing has happened. The friends and relatives, what they do, same thing the psychologists do, not one bit more. You know what, because suppose the body is injured, I cannot walk now, I need somebody to help me to walk. So anybody when something very uh, surprisingly bad happens, his mind is broken. Actually he, he is not able to think also for some time, correct? 
even normal you talk because you are not broken. Just like suppose I'm, I have an injury, correct? I cannot walk. Even you are a normal man, not a superman. You can help me to walk for some time. You easily can do that. So similarly, when a crisis happens, actually, person is broken. So previously, the relatives used to help the person. Isn't it? They will be counseling. Actually, even if he's not an extraordinary man, doesn't matter. Just well wish is enough. He will help you walk because you are not even able to think basic things. Same thing today is done by psychologists with fee. That's a joke. In uh, some countries, when there is a disaster, like earthquake disaster, 50 people died and all, or some train disaster, government sends psychologists to do the same thing. They go, you know, they are psychologists, they handle the parents, what do they do? Same thing that granny or uh, this people used to do. So, we are actually not solved. These things, they think by psychology we have solved, they think achievement because people are benefiting. Our counter is, their benefit given by this psychologist is zero. This was anyway given by the relatives. But today people are so selfish, they cannot think of a person more than themselves. Therefore, there are no well in society. As value is increasing, more and more we are alone in this world. Correct? Asas Sanyu Api. Previously, Asas Sanyu, it is said, why it is said Asas Sanyu? But because when the death comes, family members will not be able to help you. But today, the Asas Sanyu, you don't have to wait at death time. They have been helping. Previously, they will be helping you till the last minute. But when the death comes, even your family members cannot help you. You tell person, any person now, even family members cannot help you. You said even now they are not helping. <laughs> because today, even now it applies. Asas Sanyu is a deep word. Why he is saying Asas Sanyu? Because it requires a realization because they are helping now. So why they are Asas Sanyu? At that time they will not be help, help you. Correct? But today they are not even, at this time family members will not help you. Forget about it. No, today hardly anybody bothers about anything. Even in family. So therefore, we are very alone. So psychologists may claim we are solving the problem, we are doing nothing actually. The real problem, you don't even know, or you give a solution first. They don't even themselves know what is the real problem. They are just, just like Arjuna when he was in dilemma, Krishna spoke to him Divya Jnana and he spiritualized his whole existence of Arjuna. And that will come in the two shlokas later, proper use the word. He completely spiritualized Arjuna, his mind, himself, his existence, his goal, whole battlefield, the whole war is spiritualized. Everything Arjuna could see now is a transcendentalized, correct? Because Krishna was present there. Nothing material Krishna participates. Krishna is not interested in anything material. Everything is spiritualized now. And Arjuna could see from Krishna's eyes, everything is fine. So that is what has to be done. Not that Krishna was sentimentally dabbling with Arjuna. No Arjuna, you are feeling some pain, I can help you, you can do it. No? So, this Shrota Vyadini, which is referred in the Shloka, is not the sentimental talk which is given by people today. Correct? Every whole, you go to the newspaper, you go to the magazines, you go to the internet, you go to the TV, all your friends, relatives, everybody is speaking what is garbage actually. It is not going to help you at all. Rather by hearing, hearing that stuff, you will lose your Krishna consciousness. So we should be careful actually. We are dabbling with the metal energy. As so much use of the metal energy, we should transform it to Krishna consciousness. So this hearing, that hear it is being referred to as, what is it referring to? They are referring to Krishna's qualities, Krishna's pastimes. Krishna's names, just like Shukadeva Goswami, uh, the exhorted Acharya, what is he referred to in Bhagavatam? Hare Gunakshipta Mati. Now, how he became Hare Gunakshipta Mati? By reading newspapers. No. He heard from his father Bhagavatam. He was the impersonalist before. But his father stopped him. Actually, synopsis of the Bhagavatam was there, but he was not realized Krishna's glories. Just in the womb. He was walking away from home. Father said, I want to tell you about some person who blessed a lady who came to kill him. Yeah. This I want to hear. Correct? He gave a hint to him. And he started speaking about Krishna's glories. And he heard, heard, heard. And fully realized. 
correct? And not only that, contemplated on that, understood that, Bhagavatam says he revised it many times and then he presented to uh, his disciple uh, Parish Maharaj. So Shugade Goswami is not ordinary personality. So how he became Halayda Gudakshaktapati? By hearing, hearing, hearing. And what is our condition? So we have to spend more time hearing and we should very be consciously identify what is our real problem. Then we will not get lost uh, into particularly the morning is for grahasas. Everybody should be more careful. Uh, particularly the morning is for grahasas because they get entangled into so many things. They should be very, very conscious not to get lost. Uh, we should always remember Krishna is the best permission. Then they can become little peace. So because what happens, we start overdoing it actually. Uh, because we cannot play the part of Krishna. To have Shanti, there are three things to be done. Krishna is the enjoyer, Krishna is the propitor, and Krishna is the best well wish. Now let me apply in the house of a Grahasa. Krishna is the enjoyer. Don't become the center of enjoyment. This is particularly for the leader of the house. He should not become the center of the enjoyment. Center of the enjoyment is Krishna. We should be very conscious of that. Because why? We are false. If we start using everybody for our pleasure, they feel suffocated. They may not say so, they feel suffocated. Because they can see so many faults. Let Krishna be the center. Actually, it is good in every house, at least Gaunitaya should be there in a householder's house. Otherwise, daily they should go to a temple, whole family, either way. Because life has to center around the deities somehow or other. Either we are going to a temple, whole family, and we are seeing the worship of the Lord daily. Daily the life has to center around the Lord. Or in a house itself, daily should be there. There, everybody should have some engagement. Somebody should sing Kirtan. Somebody should play Karta. Just like happens in a temple. Any house can be temple. Somebody cooks for the Lord. Somebody you know, cleans the temple of the Lord. So then now everything is centered around the Lord. That's why Prabhupada said, deities are must for a Grahastha. Uh, only the exception is if he is daily visiting temple, then no. Then anyway he is part of a, he is seeing the worship of the Lord, his life is centered around the deity. So, Bhokta Rama Yiknadvata, that's how it should change. Otherwise, uh, cook this, I like this. No? Cook for the Lord. Uh, this is very nice to offer. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu likes shark. Now this month his shark is not there. So like that, we know what is, you know, we make for the Lord. As the whole house become, whole house is kept clean, all the things immediately follow. The next thing is, Sarur Roga Maheshwara, I am the proprietor of everything. No, that is another thing, I own everything. No, Krishna owns, this is Krishna's house, this is Krishna's palace. And then Suhridam Sarur Bhutana, we become over attacked sometimes, you know, why this is not happening, why you are not doing that. Sometimes old people, they have children and grandchildren. I remember one of our relatives very old. And constantly we are talking about, this person is not doing, I told him so many times, and they keep building anxiety over it. Why are you doing it? Forget it. Be detached. In fact, it is said after 50, we should become fully detached. Fully. Uh, what is it called, the word? Indifferent in Sanskrit. Huh? Udasi. We should become Udasi. And we see today the old people, they don't become Uda. So much they are in anxiety. Leave it now. Now they have to live their life on their own. Even if I tell, he's not going to listen. Because you no know, two people can drive the car together. Let them run the car. Give some advice like a friend. After 50 to 25 is only a role of a friend. If the child is less or more, cannot do anything actually. Cannot do anything. And don't try to do it. Actually, no use. 50 to 25 like a friend, after 25 leave it, Udasi. That is the result of our training. We have to face the result of our training. That's how I train, what can I do? The result is like, when you go to the college, you know, and teacher tells you, you got this many marks. And why you gave me this much marks? That is what you did. So result of my training, I am seeing. Because 5 to 15, just watch the child. Anything father says, he accepts. That's the nature of the child. He accepts 5 to 15. Whatever you tell, he is absorbing. So you didn't spend enough time. Shota Vyadani Rajendra, he didn't hear enough about Lord's qualities. He heard more about how to become a big this, how big this, and the result will be similar. What else do you expect? He's a money motivated person whole life. And so 
whatever we have given in the atmosphere of hearing, the child will take up. So not so these things we should become mudasi. And grihastha means the center is is the Lord pleased in the house? That is the center. And grihamedi is something dangerous. Grihamedi, the life of the grihamedi will come in last next shloka. What is the life of a grihamedi? Nidraya hriyate naktam vayena chavavaya. Then? Huh? Whole night he is busy in sleeping and enjoying sex, and whole day is busy bringing money. Kutumba Bharanena. Now we should have this TV, now we should have this fridge, now we should have this car. That's all. Now, this is the life of a Kriya, maybe, which Bhagavad is warning against. Uh, so, you know, therefore we have to choose uh, uh, which life we want to live. And Griha Medi, the problem is he's not a Grahastha. And somebody who's not a Grahastha, problem is now he is not solving his real problem of life. That comes down to birth, death, old age, disease. Therefore, in the purport, Prabhupada says birth, death, old age, disease four times. You know, it is quite labor to write that thing four times. And for an Acharya who is speaking out of compassion, you know, we may write to fill now paragraph here. But Prabhupada is not speaking for that. If he is saying, sometimes you see some purport, Prabhupada says Hare Krishna Mantra two times in the same purport. Full Mantra. Bhagavad Gita it is a purport. Why is it? Because it is so important. The same way, it is, these four problems, birth, death, old age, disease are so important, which we neglect. And particularly, here this shloka is now targeting the grass, so they should not forget this problem. Other problems are secondary. We should not get lost. And to solve this problem, uh, we should live a life of a Grihastha, not a Grihamedi. Grihamedi does not live a life for solving his problem. Grihamedi leaves his life. Medi means envious. He is envious of other householders. His existence is only for that. How to do up and become better than that? I show. One boy was telling me, he was a MIT boy. I said, what is the goal of your life? मेरे जीजा ही बहुत दिखाते हैं मैं उनको दिखाना चाहता हूँ मैं यू नो सम जीजा ही इस शोज़ ऑफ़ अ लॉर्ड आई जस्ट वांट टू शो हिम फॉर दैट ही इज़ एक्जिस्टिंग दैट इज़ कॉल्ड ग्रीन मीडिया का ही जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्यूमुलेट मनी एंड ऑल सो दैट ही कैन शो ऑफ़ और यू नो समबडी वो � and real problem remains as it is. Okay, so what we should do therefore, easy thing to do, start hearing. Watch out there. If hearing is proper, other things will automatically fall into place. Okay, there is nothing to worry. Uh, we should organize ourselves in such a way. It looks very simple, but that's the way. Okay, and where to hear? Uh, even if you hear about Krishna, hear from devotees. And as you hear, this life will become glorious. And then Shukadeva Goswami will say, your question is so glorious. Your life is so glorious. Okay? The whole thing changes. Now we are actually, we may sometimes feel, all of us are compromised. We may feel, I want to be a pure devotee of the Lord. Wishful thinking has no use, sir. You want to be a pure devotee by just wishing nothing will happen. You have to hear it. All of us, we know we are not a Mahabhagata or a Paramahamsa like Shri Prabhupada. We are in a neophyte condition, struggling with the modes of material nature. But all of us want to become a pure devotee. That desire is there. Where to work? Here, no. That is the place to work. Shota Vyaj. You, you put your time there, the rest will automatically follow. Where wishing nothing will happen. Because I am wishing, but I am, when I am associating the metal modes of energy whole day, they will simply drag me. So I have to. Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Bhagavatam ki.